Hello, my name is Omar Rampasad. It's Tuesday, April 3rd, 2018 at 11.05 a.m. in Toronto. So I'm going to talk about um, the, um, the ongoing trafficking that's taking place in my case and how it was done and how my family um, was coerced or convinced to take part in it because um, there were some... Uh, cops that were involved in the process. Um, uh, quite a few years ago, I was flagged uh, by someone in the building, the work, one of the workers who was, who was trafficking. And um, I was, um, I was um, pulled out of my home for a mental evaluation and there was no mental illness found. And uh, after that, uh, there were repeated um, submissions to courts to have me mentally evaluated. So the backup for these submissions were accumulated in a file. So in order to get these, uh, these submissions made, uh, information had to be, had to be um, received from the people around me, included neighbors, uh, anybody who had, in, had contacted with me, um, workplaces and so on. So these people were actually spying on me because they knew that I was a target. So let's concentrate on being a target. This is my name being put on a list. And uh, this was done quite a few years ago, uh, I'm suspecting. And uh, the targeting became progressively worse. So um, to the point where I was charged with a cr crime that I, I did not commit as a result of being targeted. So the, um, the, uh, the fact that I was a target um, escalates and and um, and um, snowballs the um, the uh, the targeting the harassment as a result of being put on a list so um, the uh, the um, the progressive nature of this is that there is a loophole in the system that allows uh, private citizens to surveil you on behalf of the police I can imagine once you're flagged and um, they go to maybe the police or whatever agency that does this, a court, I'm not quite sure, and say, well, I know Oma for X number of years. Um, I had an affair with her, lying. Um, she was my friend since I was 16 years old, lying. Uh, these are strangers. Strangers are doing this. And apparently there is no, there is no, um, there is no uh, test there is no um, control system that uh, that will filter out the people who are telling lies in order to do this. So anybody could do it once you have contact, once they have contact with me. So um, the, the flagging allows this to happen because you're being monitored as a result. And all kinds of people are going and adjoining and espousing and so on and so on and so on. So um, the family um comes in where this was done for a number of years in the building a number of submissions were made and i heard from the worker that i was in the newspaper there's a, a notification was put in the newspaper when i was registered into the system as someone who really used to be mentally ill based on all the submissions made even though there was no mental illness the one time i was pulled out in cuffs and slammed against the wall there was no mental illness no evaluations um, the, the, uh, the accusations made was, um, I was running back and forth in the corridor when actually it was the Pakistani kids who were doing that. And they moved out right after, um, the, the, the knocking on people's doors, the Pakistani kids were doing that. These are the same people who called the cops. Um, so the, the Pakistani family actually framed and set me up and I'm suspecting that he was working with the worker who flagged me in the first place to pimp me out remotely, which I didn't know about, of course, at the time. So um, the uh, this is going on, it's an ongoing thing in the building, and it still is going on with neighbors right now. Same situation, exact situation. I have people running back and forth in the corridor, and they say, I'm doing it. Record the, the, the noise, whatever, and use it as um, evidence, quote unquote, and pin it on me. So this is ongoing. So. The accumulation of this false data, this file, and I heard double double that people are using doubles to make videos and so on and post it on the YouTube. The accumulation of these files 
um, have have me painted as a mentally mentally ill prostitute who does all kinds of criminal shit. Like, shite, excuse me. <laughs> it is shite. <laughs> um, so, uh, anyways, uh, excuse my language. So this file is being tra traveling, has been traveling. Uh, ha um, well, let me put it another way. Uh, they're they're in the workplace, in the family um, uh, homes, and so on, um, to to infiltrate and to separate me out. So the family comes in where this file was given to the family to convince them. Number one, I was a prostitute. I was on the street. There was somebody in that file I heard that I harassed about that. A policeman got me in a drain somewhere. Never happened. Um, the uh, uh, I, I solicited somebody at Young and Dundas. Never happened. And so on and so on. I had a contact. I had um, an incident where um, I asked the policeman at Young and Dundas for, in, for directions to a bookstore once. So um, I'm not sure how... It, there was no other incident, so that was the only one. So anyway, so these things are in that file. Whether the policeman is saying this, whether the people are saying that the policemen are saying this, I have no idea, but I'm being harassed about it. I am being harassed about it. So this file went to my family, and my family was utterly convinced that I used to be a prostitute based on these lies in this file. So then the family decided to take part in the targeting. So the targeting was to... It, um, part of the targeting is to put blocks in my way, take me out of the workplace, um, and uh, make submissions to have me mentally evaluated constantly, flag me constantly, make submissions to have me mentally evaluated constantly, and to have me charge, all of which were done. None of it stuck because there was no truth to it, because I'm a target. I'm a target. So this uh, whole process is, um, is uh, a cover in my case, for trafficking, because I am being falsely painted as a prostitute. So then people are joined and espouse me. And because I'm flagged, I need to be monitored. So the people who take me out of the system is, uh, is uh, monitoring me, and that includes inside of my home. So the criminals are taking it one step further, or two steps, or three steps, and uh, using um, lasers and microwaves and, and all sorts of electro electromagnetic pulse uh, technology that will pulse you to death, basically. And um, I showed um, uh, a video where there was a depression on my foot. Right now, I'm getting the exact same sensation on my leg as I speak, as I'm, uh, I'm uh, recording this. Because these people in this building do not, who's doing this, do not want me to talk. Do not want me to talk. And it's quite painful. Um, uh, and imagine if somebody's pulsing your legs and causing pain constantly. Uh, legs, eyes, and it, it, it has a sequence to it. It will start with the toes, then the, knee, then the calves, then the knees, then the legs, then the genital area, then the tummy, then the stomach, the breast, the neck, the nose, the mouth, the eyes, and then it goes back again. So there's a pattern to this. Um, so you could imagine, now you can imagine trying to sleep this way as it did, as it happened last night. Now, if I shield myself, it's something metallic. Um, if, these are, if these are sound bullets, and sometimes these could be used, um, the, the, of course, uh, anything solid will absorb the, um, the vibration, and uh, you will not feel pain, which is exactly what happens. If there are lasers, they will leave marks, and it will become red. But last night, there were no red marks um, um, initially. I mean, there'd be red marks if it was done consistently in the same spot over and over and over again. But initially, like a laser, if you did it once, you'll have a red mark. That didn't happen. You had a, I had a depression, which meant that it's something like sound technology, and uh, it's being used to pulse your, um, your, uh, your body. Um, this could be done internally as well. So if you aim this and you increase the power in this technology, and you aim it in a, into an internal organ, you will destroy it in a matter of seconds. This is the technology that's being used. Um, so this is, uh, this is something new that's been going on, going on for the last few days. And you could well imagine if they hit your eyeballs with this as you sleep, which happened last night. And you can see that um, this eye is um, the, um, the, uh, the, um, 
the alert, the um, light in the eyes, I should say, as compared to this one, is different. And also, my eyelids are a little droopy in this one. This is the eye that's um, being hit more often, and this eye is um, is um, brighter, and it's open. So um, it's open wider, and um, also it's more moist. This one is a lot drier. So when I put tears, the artificial tears in this one, it uh, it helps and it um, the eyelids uh, uh, expand more easily and stay open more easily. So I heard the um, the uh, the comment outside that uh, we're going to take your eyes away, uh, droopy eyes. So there you go. This is what uh, happens. If you um, if you target the eyes, what happens is the tear glands are um, are uh, destroyed. So the eye becomes dry, and once the eye becomes dry, it doesn't um, expand as easily because it's not lubricated. So you'll have one eye like this and one eye like this, and that's exactly what it is. It also gives you floaters, and um, I'm also getting a lot of flashes because what happens is that when you pulse the eye balls, it also stimula stimulates the retina. So once the, 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 the retina is stimulated, uh, you'll get flashes um, uh, as you um, as you uh, look sideways. Uh, you know, if you use if you use your um, if the, excuse me, if your eyeballs uh, glances uh, to the to the right in an angle, you get flashes because uh, it um, it stimulates the retina more than it normally would. Um, because uh, also when you do this, uh, sometimes your eyeballs are tracked as well. So they will hit your eyes as your eyeballs move, and that too will stimulate your retina and cause flashes. So I have floaters and I have flashes. Um, my eyesight changes um, uh, day to day. Some days it's blurry, some days it's not. Some days my eyes are dry, some days they are not. Uh, well, one of it is constantly dry like this one, but some days it's more dry than others. So these are things that's being done remotely to um, to harass you, basically. Anyway, so um, that's a whole lot more detail than I intended to go into. But let's go back to targeting and uh, the family and how the family is convinced to take part in this program. I stayed with my my uh, sister-in-law for one year, and um, the exact same thing that happened in the building happened in her house. She was abusive. She talked about... Uh, Prostitutes uh, 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 um, giving um, giving it uh, a lot of color, giving it a rainbow, sending a rainbow into you. Um, my liking to f a lot. Um, I heard that she she made reports about me to um, the company, the, the team that was in the company that I was working at at the time um, with this Muslim guy who's supposed to have espoused me. I heard whether it's true or not, I'm not sure, but the, the the, the, um, the information, the misinformation or information uh, is in the public arena, so that's defamation. Um, so she, I heard that she, uh, she was the source. So she was in contact with this team and this company, and uh, she was sending people into me, or this Muslim man was sending men into me as the worker in this building was sending people into me under the cover of the community targeting program. So this is where um, um, uh, affidavits and, and, and statements made to the police and so on is made by my family. So it lends credibility to um, the claim that I, I am a prostitute, used to be a prostitute, being trained as one, and so on. None of it is true. I was never a prostitute, ever, ever. Uh, and of course, I uh, don't intend to become one because I'm talking like this. Uh, the, uh, I'm exposing what's going on and what I'm experiencing and what I'm observing and what I um, learned through my research. So anybody who is targeted this way uh, can learn from my experience and uh, and to uh, get some action, um, get um, some um, something done about it to to to, um, to uh, try to get some action. Uh, in the way of um, of um, of trying to get this sort of targeting stopped, uh, it's not enough to say to me that you're a target. This is why we're doing this to you. Um, no human being is a target. I wasn't born a target. 
So, uh, and I'm not inferior to anybody. So, uh, who made me a target? Uh, why am I used as a guinea pig? Who? Um, is, there, uh, is there connections to all sorts of organizations, infiltrated uh, organizations? Um, you know, uh, who made me a target? I'm obviously not a risk to the country or, or to anybody else, including myself. Who made me a target and why? This is a witch hunt. Putting your name on a list is a witch hunt and it's a cover for trafficking. That's why I was made a target, to be trafficked. And that's my answer to my question. But and the broader question is, why me? Who targeted me this way to be trafficked and to be experimented on as well? Because under the cover of the gang stalking program, as I said before, it shuts you up. It intimidates you. You're supposed to live in fear. You're not going to talk. So given that umbrella, anybody could do anything to you and get away with it. So criminals, um, people who run experiments uh, will all target you this way to traffic you as well. And this is exactly what's being done here. So um, this is uh, something that should be uh, stopped. And, uh, and uh, the people we vote into power has the power to do something about this, especially since kids are being targeted this way. And I'm suspecting is a huge part of this, um, of this targeting program. I would say 80% uh, of the people who are targeted this way are children in the schoolrooms. You can sit in a schoolroom and get pulsed with lasers and microwaves. You can uh, be degraded. The child's performance in this classroom can be degraded if he's hit with lasers, if he's hit with uh, electromagnetic, excuse me, electromagnetic pulses while he's trying to study or she's trying to study. So um, this, this is something that should be investigated. Talk to you another time.